When we show models or pictures of the planets, we usually show all of the planets at the same time. But with the real planets, it's very hard to do because the real planets have a lot of space between them. No, I'm not kidding. I mean, a, a lot of space. A, a lot of space. Okay, let's say that this balloon is the sun. It's a little over a meter across. And the planet Mercury would be here, 39 meters away, and would be just about this big. That's all there would be to the planet Mercury. Here, at 72 meters, that would be Venus. Now, the sun's still behind us. And look, up here at 100 meters, our own Earth. Hi, everybody. Hi, Bill. Now we got to get serious. Uh oh. Ah. Ah. There's Mars. And the distances start to get very large. Those planets, those models, are the actual size. Now the sun's still back there. And here's Jupiter. 520 meters from the sun. That's over half a kilometer. And Jupiter would be about this big. Isn't that wild? Here's Saturn, the one with the big rings, 953 meters from the sun, almost a kilometer out, way out here. And this would be Uranus, almost two kilometers from the sun. It's way out here. Are you beginning to get the picture? Everything is really far apart. There's a lot of space in space. Things are really far apart on this model. That's because everything's to scale. That's why we don't always make models like this to scale, because they're huge! <laughs> Are we there yet? Here's Neptune, an icy blue planet, three kilometers from our weather balloon sun. someplace down here bill huh. bill oh. down here oh there it is oh yeah he's a kick here's pluto four kilometers from our sun pluto is 40 times farther away from the sun than our earth it's over six billion kilometers from the sun do you get it now the distances between the real planets in real outer space are huge. 